guys, it's Ashley, your Scrapping Nerd. I have a really short video for you today and layout. Um, this is Simple Stories Vintage Coastal, and then this is Graphic 45 Catch of the Day. And I don't I actually don't use any of the Graphic 45, and I think I only use one of the shells from the Simple uh, Stories. So this is a paper hat pad Beach House 2 from Paper Studio, and then just some papers from my stash and a cardstock. So I had this idea that I want to cut different size squares and rectangles out of the pattern paper. So you can see here with this one, I am, this one's a predetermined size because I wanted the whole octopus here. But so I cut that square and then I'm going to back the, back it with this dark blue cardstock. And so I do that with all the different patterns and I did it with all different sizes, the rectangles or squares, so that I could, and then I backed them all in the, the dark brown cardstock. And you'll see in a minute all of the different patterns that are there. And the, by backing it with the blue, it's just a very thin line just to differentiate it from all the patterns. So you can see here that is all of the different sizes of squares and rectangles that I cut. And so now I'm going to mat the photos on this dark um, blue cardstock as well. And I originally wanted to just do the blue cardstock, but then I decided I needed to do a pattern paper so I could double mat. And I used a pattern that I hadn't used in the squares that I cut, so a completely different pattern. And so I back that, and then I back that on top of the, the dark blue, so it's a double mat. So this is the bottom paper, and it's just from my stash, like a white uh, wood grain. And so the picture there up in the right is my husband and I walking back to the beach house from our wedding after we got all our professional photos, and then the bottom left is our names drawn in the sand. And so I popped those up on foam, and it's just some adhesive foam, some craft adhesive foam, and I only did one layer. Everything is pretty much one layer of foam except for the title, which you'll see. But so I'm just gonna start layering all of these squares and rectangles around. This is why the video is so short, is because it's mostly just me moving these squares and rectangles around, and it would just be hours of you watching me do that, and nobody wants to see that. So you can see that the squares and stuff under the photo um, are flat, and then I'll have some that are up on foam. And this was just kind of this idea of having everything layered, and nothing is on the same, like a straight line. I did uh, everything staggered a little. And then I, so I started to glue it down because things were moving, and I only glued in the center so that I could, you know, slide my different layers in and out of things. Before I put the layout away, I went back and um, added extra adhesive. But, so I'm sliding everything under here, and you can kind of see this is just the idea of all these different layers, and I made sure that there was no patterns that uh, were the same near each other. This blue um, sailing pattern here, he's up on foam. And then the seahorses are going to lay on top of that. So then I only need to add foam to the one side. And so you can kind of see, like, that's basically what I did throughout the whole thing. I originally thought I was just going to do either, like, a cluster of different squares or maybe half of the layout looked like this and half didn't. But then I just kind of went crazy because I loved all the patterns and I couldn't decide which ones I wanted to use and which ones I didn't. And per use, I put everything on the page until, you know, your eyeballs hurt. So that's just what I continue to do. Having backed everything with that blue uh, mat, you can see that it just helps to keep things differentiated and also um, made those papers sturdy because the paper house papers are pretty thin. But um, that's pretty much how I did it all. You know, I used my acrylic block to help hold things down. If things were laying on top, they uh, 
only had foam and parts. I really loved that octopus, so he kind of takes uh, center stage in the middle there. And I realized that the that the octopus is also up at the top right, like his face, and I probably should have moved that down so it wasn't so close, but everything worked out and I liked it. So that burlap one there that I'm touching, that's going to be my title square, and that one actually has two layers of foam so it just stands up a little bit more. And so this is the layout with all the squares and they're all their dimension, and so then I started adding just some extra stuff. The title is Newlyweds. And um, this one says happily ever after. The one that says our love story, I actually am going to uh, remove that one because I really liked this. Our story is my favorite. I wanted to add some more black since that title is black. So, and then that's that starfish there is actually from that simple vintage coastal. And I think that's the only thing that I that I used from those. So um, yeah, so see I'm going to put this here and it's enjoy the little things and I'll back that with the blue cardstock as well. So that is the layout. Um, you can see all the different dimension and squares. Thank you to everyone that's liked and subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it so much. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button below. Um, and thank you for watching. Have a good day everyone. Bye.